subscribe my channel p sarala hit the bell icon so that you are notified every time i post a new lesson hi everyone so the aspirants of a government job should have to write a competitive exams whether it is a ssc exams or appsc exams or upsc exams for all these exams you have to answer general science part so to get maximum marks in general science you have you have to read biology so from biology you definitely get 10 to 20 or 20 to 30 marks in any examination to get good marks in general science paper my biology videos may help you hope these videos will help you to get maximum marks in general science of competitive exams today i am going to teach you about uh, vitamins vitamins are micronutrients so the substances which are required in little quantities are known as micronutrients vitamins are two types water soluble vitamins and fat soluble vitamins water soluble vitamins are b complex and c vitamin and fat soluble vitamins are a d e and k so vitamin b complex consists of b1 b2 b3 b6 and b12 folic acid and pantothenic acid and biotin these are the b complex vitamins so in the competitive exams you have to concentrate on the chemical name of the vitamin and also the deficiency disease so the disease which is caused due to the deficiency of the particular vitamin is very important it is also in many examinations for example very very is a disease which is caused due to the deficiency of a fixed vitamin so the answer is thiamin so like that you have to memorize the name of the vitamin and its chemical name and the deficiency disease and sometimes they are also asked what is your research for vitamins so many of the b complex vitamins you can get from cereals and green leafy vegetables so except the b1 vitamin which is synthesized by the bacteria which is present in the intestine so this is very important this is exceptional one so that's why you have to remember b1 vitamin uh, b you uh, emphasis to the b1 vitamin so the deficiency uh, disease of b1 vitamin is pernicious anemia so like that you have to prepare rather the vitamins here are prepared in tablet column so that uh, you stick on to a book or a, uh, in a paper you write down and uh, daily one or two times you just go through the vitamin names and resources so that you can never forget the vitamins uh, and you will definitely get uh, good marks uh, in the competitive examinations uh, like for fat soluble vitamins a d e and k these four vitamins definitely you will know, you know, be asked one or two questions in the competitive exams so the source of uh, vitamin a what is the source of vitamin a what is the deficiency disease of vitamin a so what is the source of vitamin d so sunlight so likewise you have to prepare for the examination you have to ask yourself in many in how many ways the question will be asked and you have to prepare that you can answer i hope you understand how to prepare vitamins for the competitive exams hope you like the lesson and if you want some more lessons like this you may comment in comment sections happy studying